Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, I thought I'd do a video today um, talking about the new um, regulations that have come into force on the 1st of July 2024 for UK medical cannabis. Um, <clears throat> this is coming under the European Pharmacopoeia um, and we have a UK one but we also um, adhere to the European one. Um, and they've brought in new standards for medical cannabis, um, which should hopefully mean that the quality is going to go up. Um, so the first thing they're bringing in is that the, um, the THC content has to be um, within 10% of what it's stated. They have a section on foreign matter. Um, so they're saying foreign matter should represent at most 2% of the preparation. Furthermore, if the cannabis flower is to be prescribed to patients as a medicinal product, it should not contain any seeds and the whole herbal drug does not contain any leaves or, um, or stalks more than one one centimeter in length so hopefully we should um, see the back of CD medicine um, and hopefully um, if it is CD or stalky um, we'll be able to get a refund a lot more easily than we currently do now um, because it's not going to be complying with the European pharmacopoeia um, and then it's got another section on drying and it says loss on drying should be no more than 12%, which is increased from 10% in the draft version of the monograph. So that means that we are going to have slightly less dry medical cannabis, hopefully, because we're going to be able to have 12% moisture instead of just 10%. So hopefully that's going to make a bit of a difference to the terpenes evaporating and just the quality of the flower too will be less dry so it will be easier to vape and less harsh and then finally we've got the presence of heavy metals including arsenic maximum 0.2 parts per million cadmium maximum 1.0 parts per million and lead maximum 5.0 parts per million and mercury maximum 5.0 parts per million if the herbal drug is to be prescribed as medicinal cannabis so this is going to help with the heavy metals basically um <clears throat> so i think this is a really good um move towards better quality medicine unfortunately they it's not going to come into force immediately because um the brands have to be given a grace period and I'm not sure how long that grace period is for um, but it should eventually um, be adhered to and um, so obviously if, if this has come in when um, when crops are already um, being processed then you know this this isn't going to affect them but for anything new that's being grown from now on um, they're going to have to adhere to these standards um, and finally I just wanted to remind everyone that if you do have any adverse effects from seeds um, or mold or anything like that um, for example if you find seeds and it, it gives you a sore throat or a headache or makes you really cough um, then or obviously with mold you know that can cause even more serious problems if you know specifically if you're immune compromised um, please fill out a yellow card um, the yellow card system is there so that um, any adverse effects are reported and I'll put a list uh, I'll put a link and I'll put a link in the description below um, so yeah hope that helps to um, to um, bring us some better quality medicine in the future um, it's well needed at the moment because um, there's still a lot of um, flour that has seeds and mold and um, and a lot of flour that is very, very stalky as well. Um, so yeah, I look forward to better quality flour in future.